Did a cargo ship intentionally crash into the key bridge in Baltimore and how is disinformation spreading because of it? Uh, sorry for the background, I'm in Tampa right now. Um, well, you know why I'm here. Let's get started. On March 26, at around 1.30 a.m., a container ship crashed into the key bridge in Baltimore, Maryland. This is the bridge that carries I-695. The bridge collapsed, a few cars were on the bridge, they went into the water, and the divers are still looking for people. Video was released of the incident. But this video isn't about the incident. It's about the words, time latch footage of the Baltimore Bridge incident. Notice how the ship at 11 seconds abruptly changes course to slam into the bridge. Now, if you actually watch the time lapse video, it seems like the ship loses power right around seven seconds into the video. Now, I'm really not up on maritime stuff. Go watch Sal uh, from what's going on with shipping for that. But if all the lights go out on a ship, you might assume that ship has lost power. If that ship is out of power, I would assume it's probably lost maneuvering capabilities. I mean, maybe there's backups, but if a ship loses power seconds before a crash, in the intelligence community, this is what we call a clue. Now, I noticed that many of the tweets about this event had the same exact text. Time-lapse footage of the Baltimore Bridge accident. Notice how the ship at 11 sec seconds abruptly changes course to slam into the bridge. I also noticed that a lot of the accounts using this text seem to have Indian names. And I think I figured out why, but I'm going to get to that. So I loaded the phrase at 11 seconds abruptly changed course into Cyabra, which is a social media threat detection tool. Now, this social media disinformation campaign is still in its infancy. As of right now, this incident happened about 10 hours ago, so we don't have a lot of data on it, but we're already seeing inauthentic actors spout this phrase. And according to Cyabra, 28% of the tweets relating to this were AI generated. So they're just taking something that's popular and repeating it to increase engagement. It appears that this whole speculation started from one tweet by Abhijit Ayer Midra, who looks like some kind of Indian defense analyst, and he has a lot of followers, at least on Twitter. And he didn't add the power outage thing until two hours after his initial tweet. But by now it's too late. Accounts are already repeating the initial conspiracy theory text without attributing him, or in some cases they're just putting their own spin on things. Now since Abhijit is a real person and popular, this is like conspiracy theorist gold. Now people can take this text and modify it, and I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of today, we start seeing Russian accounts start to claim that this was actually an attack by Ukraine on American infrastructure uh, because America notified Russia of the impending Moscow theater attack and Ukraine is angry at America. So because this seed has already been planted, the Twitter algorithm knows that this is a popular person and a popular topic, so we get to see add-on lies to rocket it straight to the top of the algorithm. You know, when you have almost a quarter million followers, you kind of have a responsibility to get things right before using your influence to shape people's opinion. Your creation can become a Frankenstein's monster that will be hijacked by people with less than pure intentions. Special thanks to Cyabra for letting me use their software. Check your sources, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, go buy a t-shirt. Hey, everyone. New Ryan Macbeth t-shirts and hoodies from Bunker Branding are available. I'm going to get the Highmars shirt. What are you going to get, Donald? The Patriot shirt, because I'm a patriot. It's the best shirt, the biggest shirt. Make 14 tangos great again. What are you going to get, Barack? Let me be clear. I'm going to get a drone sweet drone shirt. What about you, George? I'm going to get a try that missile shirt because they're weapons of mass destruction. Oh, I'm going to get a landmine marker shirt because my presidency always blew up in my face. I'll tell you what I'm going to get. Ronald Reagan, but you're dead. I came back to tell you that no matter our politics, we're all Americans. And we should buy Ryan's hoodies and t-shirts because they pay for the stock footage and licenses that allow him to make awesome content. So come on down to Bunker Branding and buy a Ryan Beth t-shirt or I'll start the bombing in five minutes.